Welcome to Coding Trust. In this video, we're going to talk about Bresenham's line drawing algorithm. So, Bresenham's line drawing algorithm, if you just remember all the formulas which is in the screen right now, you will be able to write the whole Bresenham program. Alright? So, here we have a set of formulas. One of the things what you could find here is you can find a lot of P's here. And Bresenham's Bresenham uses a parameter-based algorithm. Uh, using this parameter p, we we actually find out which pixel to light up. So in order to explain, let me show you with a graph. So let's say that x squared. Let's have a point x k and y k, and there is the next point x k plus one and y k plus one, and it goes so on. All right. So let's say that we are in this position. So here we are, and the next point should be for this incremental line. The next point should be either this one or this one. Since we have the line from our eyes, we could easily make out it is this point which should be lighting up. It should be this point. But somehow we have to make computer understand. That's what Bresenham's use PK. Okay, PK is a decision parameter. So here, with the line, we calculate when we are at this point. Let me change the color once again. When we are at this point, we we might we will have PK value, PK value. Then we need to find PK plus one, so that with this PK plus one, we will be able to determine whether to choose this. For pixel or this pixel, so when PK plus one, so this pixel. Let me change color again. Not some. Let me change somewhere to yellow. So this pixel, the point is XK plus one, and then XK, and for this pixel, the point will be. Let me change the color once again. The point will be x k plus one and then y k plus one. See, according to the p k value, when it is greater than zero, we we lighten up this pixel. When it is less than zero, we light up the same. We don't increment y. All right. When p k is less, we just don't increment y. When p k is Greater than zero, greater than or equal to zero, we just increment y. So that's what this formula tells us. So let me change the color so that I can go on underline and teach you. So initially, as as in the last diagram, we just had one point x k and y k. We need To start somewhere, and when you want to draw a line, there are two points: start point and an end point. And you need to find out what are all the pixels that should light up in bet in between them. And as you already know, you have to make use of this decision parameter. So initially, we should make use of this formula: p not is equal to two del y minus del x. What is del y and what is del x? The difference in the starting point and the end point in y coordinate is called as del y, and the difference in x, the difference between the starting point and end point in x coordinate is called as del x, which is nothing but if suppose the starting point is x not and y not, and if suppose the end point is x one and y one, then this del x is equal to del Del x will be equal to, as I said, x one minus x naught. Yes, x naught, right? It's x naught. And then for similarly, y goes from del y is equal to y one minus y naught. And remember, the, these del x and del y will always be positive, so it is a modulus of the minus. Okay. And When you have a p value, so initially we have a point that is our starting point, and we will find out the p value. And in the next step, with this p value, 
we will be able to find out if the p is less than uh, less than zero we will have the point we will increment the x and we will keep y uh, y as such and then we will use this formula to find out the next parameter if the parameter is greater than or equal to zero then we increment both x and y then we use this formula to find out this next parameter and likewise we do this in a loop until until the end point is reached so now let us look at the program and understand how this actually implements in a C program we have all those libraries standard libraries and this one makes us so since we are doing a computer graphics programming we need a graphics library and this library is Borland graphics interface and it is a deprecated library you could call it so the last update was Borland was on 1994 it's a such an old and ancient IDE but still many use it in order to learn computer graphics and lots of other simple C and C++ programs anyway we, we got a uh, we got a turbo C and let's learn how so basically we have lots of variables over here and we need them to implement the Bresenham's line drawing algorithm so GD is so this is the initialized graph why do we need to do this we need to do this to tell the, our computer that we are going to draw on the screen so this function takes up three parameters graph driver graph mode and a path to driver all right so the graph driver which is given by this detect preprocessor with the help of preprocessor this detect changes into zero as you can see it right here all right and then this graphics mode and then we need to pass in a path to the BGI library and then we need to I'm just printing enter the coordinates and then I'm just going to get the x1 y1 and the x2 y2 here the starting point is x1 y1 and the end point is x2 y2 and then I'm just clear clearing the screen and then I'm just setting the color to green let's just don't use this let's see what happens so now dx can you guess what it is it is del x and absolute of x2 minus x1 and y absolute as i told you del x should always be positive and mathematical modulus is similar to absolute function this absolute function when um when this plus or minus takes place this absolute function returns always a positive value when this results minus 3 this returns 3 absolute function returns 3 and if it is positive it returns the positive value if it is 3 it still returns 3 alright so this absolute function will make sure that dx and dy will never get a negative value alright that's why we use abs and then the starting point x and y be x1 x1 is the starting point as we told here and y1 will be the starting point as told here and then we check whether the difference between x is greater or difference between y is greater so why do we need to do this we need to do this in order to find out the number of pixels in between the two lines so that we can easily loop around and draw the pixel all right so here we need to use for the for loop we need steps and that could be found out only through the biggest difference whether it is x coordinate or y coordinate so if dx is more we assign steps equal to dx and if dy is more we assign dy as steps and then we light up the first starting point which is x1 y1 with green color and then we, we uh, as I told you first we need to calculate p naught and p naught is nothing but 2 del y minus del x so this formula gives the first parameter so that we can start the program and get it running and inside the for loop we execute it until 
steps times. This step is equal to the largest difference. It can be either dx or dy. Alright. So it is the number of pixels that should be lighted up between the starting and ending point. And every time as you see we increment x and we increment y only when p is equal to should be 0 when only when p is equal to greater than or equal to 0 so if p is less than 0 we use the formula we find the next p pk plus 1 is equal to pk plus 2 del y if it is negative if it is less than 0 we use this formula if it is a positive value this if clause if statement doesn't execute we execute this statement y is equal to y plus 1 only happens when p is equal to greater than or equal to 0 and p is equal to pk plus 1 is equal to pk plus pk plus 2 del y minus 2 del x so this is how we have written in the formula so it's it's not going to make much difference if we say 2 into del y minus del x but for better understanding i'm just doing this let me save the program all right and then for each point that we find for each point that we find we just light up the pixel over here using Hey computer, just light up the point x comma y with green color, and then we just say close the graph. We tell the computer that's it. I don't want to draw anything on the screen. So that's it. That's it with this program. There is nothing much. Let me just compile it. And then let me run the program. We can see the output in seconds. Here, it's, here it asks me for coordinates. I'm just going to enter 0, 0 and then 500 and a 500. So it should be, it goes out of my screen. Since I'm running DOS box, which is an emulation for MS DOS, I hope I see you guys in my next video about Brazenam Circle. Thank you. This is Code Interest signing off. Thank you for watching. See you soon.